Messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Funhouse, Pat Sharp! That weekend has most definitely begun. We're off, we're running, and we've got the hottest show on your television for you. I'm in such a good mood. I completed this jigsaw today in just four hours, and on the box, it said five to seven years. So if today's as good as that, I'll be all right. Here's the Funhouse! Dramatic stuff, but even more beautiful. Melanie and Martina! <laughs> All right, let's bring on our players, girls! <laughs> Hello, Martina. Hello, Pat. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Who have you got? I have Sally and James from Durham, and they both attend the Durham Johnston Comprehensive School. Right. Yeah! And for those hot rocking reds, Mel. I have Jenny and Wesley, and they're from Preston, and they attend the Ashton and Ribble High School. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so hello to Sally Brelsford, first of all. Hi, now, Pat. nice to see you. What is your ambition? Well, it was to be on the telly, but now I'm on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to think of a new one yeah. for you. Oh, well, good luck to you today. Thanks. Uh, James is with you. Good nickname. Come on, tell everybody. What is it? Hutch. Hutch. Or Hutchie. Oh, Hutchie. So you could be Starsky and Hutchie or a rabbit Hutch. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Don't rabbit too much on this show. That's my job. But I get told off for it. Now, you want to learn to fly and get lots of money. Yeah. So you're going to be the Rich Richard Branson of the next decade. Certainly. Good. <laughs> well, when you're very rich, I'll borrow some. OK, we're going to those red team now. Say hello to uh, Jennifer, whose nickname is what? Gerbil. Gerbil? Yep. Why? <laughs> you know, oh, this is the embarrassing. She goes, <laughs> Come on, then. Because... I don't eat very much, you and they call me gerbil, and I'm small. I thought it was because you ran around those little wheels or something like that. But maybe not. <laughs> anyway, you want to be a nurse, and the funniest thing you ever did was on holiday in Greece. What happened? Well, my dad was filming us, and I thought I would climb over these rocks, and when I climbed over them, I tripped. You tripped off, so you got it on video? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we might show that later on the show. Hello to Wesley. Where did you, where did you get that name from, Wesley? Hello. Probably your mum and dad, I would think, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Good luck to all our players today on the Fun House! Yeah! All oh, right, then, if you're new to Fun House and you want to play this at home and climb over Mum's couch and the rest of the stuff in the living room, here's what you do. There's three fun-filled, fantabulous games. Each one is worth 25 points to the winning team. It could be you. But don't worry if you don't win. We'll bring you back after each game. We'll ask you a question that's also worth 25 points. That takes us into the Fun Car Grand Prix. Three laps under the Fun House and around it. The winning team there gets 25 points. Then the team with the most points gets to go into the Fun House. Whoa! That's one of the best bits. Pick up on all the price tags and perhaps if they hear the power price sound, get that special prize from Funhouse. Now, at the end of the show, we often say, toodaloo, see you next week. But this time, we really are going toodaloo. Come and join us, boys. Yeah! OK, toodaloo with a little bit of a difference today, because if you come over here, you... Oh, look at this gunge here. Some of this will just have to go in your hair, I think, you know, because it's just that sort of show. These are germs. These germs have got to be wheeled over here, because they've got wheels on the bottom of these loos. They come over here as quick as they can. They dip the germ into the disinfectants which is an interesting colour because they're so hygienic they'll be wearing gloves. It'll be their job to whack it on here. Here's a spare one for you, just to show you how it'll work. And then they'll whack it as hard as they can. From that, they will break the germ. They will clean up. That means it is today's key game, so therefore there will be extra points for the runners-up. We'll give you one minute. All I can say is, make it messy, Funhouse. Go! <laughs>
brilliant, isn't it, you know? Look at this, first game and I'm already in a tremendous state. I don't know. That was superb. What we need to know is the full details. Let's go to the Reds first of all. And he's got on his ear now, you're right. Bit of gunge, never hurt anyone, but mm. We've so, got seven! Seven sounds good to me. Martina, give us the news we want to hear. We need eight or more. We got five. Five! Yeah! Points for the Reds! Let's redo the portaloo! Yeah! Never had those two cleaning my house. What a dreadful mess. James did okay. He got himself five points for getting five germs, but he's going to be ill all weekend now. But Wesley was a winner. 25 points, Reds! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so the Reds in the lead, but girls question now, which gives Sally a chance to catch up and indeed, in fact, overtake, because it's also worth 25 points. We saw the port of Lou. Port is a well known drink. What colour is it? Black. Black is wrong. Make a guess. Yes. Red. Red will do for the Reds. 25 points. Five yellows in the lead. 50 for the Reds. OK, game number two, just for Sally and Jenny, so they can get as messy as the guys did. This is hopscotch with a difference. So come and join us. I'll tell you what, this one really will send you hopping mad. Now, I'm going to hop all the way through my explanation, so if you want to hop down this end with me, you will see the normal numbers for hopscotch start at 1. They go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I got my maths, you see, and I know what I'm doing. But when they get down this end, they've really got to get in and grab one of these with their teeth, which I can't do because my hair will go in it and there'll be terrible trouble. Then they've got to come all the way back. If they drop it, the ball is void, it doesn't count. You get it in the bins, you've got 45 seconds to get as many balls in the bin as you can. Hop away, on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Come on, shout, guys. Woo. Woo. I've been hopping the whole time. I didn't change a bit. We're going to count them up now. We're going to go to the yellows first. Off we go. I'm still going to hop to show you. Okay, we've got one. Oh, sorry. I'm nearly two, Look at this. Three, oh. four, yeah. five. Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. How many? We have one, two, yes. three, yes. four. Yes. Yellow points. Yellow points. Let's re watch the hopscotch. Come on. So, what a way to start the weekend. That was Gunji and everybody got a good old chocolate cake. But Sally did just fine. Catch it up there for Durham. 25 points, yellows! Yeah! Just 20 points behind the Reds from Preston. Now, here comes a question for the guys. So, girls, take your place at the back and stand by. Don't hit that buzzer till you know the answer. You can try this at home as well. We played Glop Scotch. Easier done than said, I'll have you know. Which is the largest animal in the world that hops rather than runs? <laughs> it's yellows. Kangaroo. Kangaroo is right. Yeah! 25 points. 50 to the reds. The yellows are now in the lead. 55! Yeah! All right, my little Cape Crusaders. It is now time for Fat Man and Poppin to meet the arch enemy, the Joker, in a game like you've never seen. For the girls and the guys together. Yep. Where'd they go? Must be over there. Come on. Yeah! What is this I see before me? A bum? <laughs> is it your bum or is it your bum? It must be, it must be Joker's. Now, I figure what we've got to do here is really be Batman in style. I've whacked on my little Joker flower, but I feel I should be like this. Basically, it's your job, Cape Crusader, old chum. There's something here in my utility belt that might just save our capes. To fly him through here, grab a bomb, zip it up, fly it through the hole and get Joker and zap him as quick as you can. But the trouble is, Joker's got a flower. And like Joker, we know those flowers are dangerous. Thank you very much. They're very dangerous. I'll get my own back on that in a few seconds' time. If you come over here with me, I will prove it. You've got one minute to do well. Would you like to smell my flower? 
You would? Okay, I'll just have a quick squeeze. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, my flowers got all sorts of trouble. I bet Joker does better than me. Let's go, one minute, go! <laughs> Okay, old chum, I think I've got my own back. My flower is still not working at all. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. You did absolutely brilliantly. We'll count them up. We'll go over to the reds. First of all, Mel, how many? Seven. Seven's good for me. That's a good score. Let's see if those yellows did any better. We need seven or more, and then you're absolutely fab. We've got seven. Seven. Yeah! Seven equal. So, they'll get themselves equal points. Let's rerun that fun. Yeah! What was James from Durham said? What a batty game. I'll have to repower my flower. That didn't work very well, did it? However, 25 points apiece. You work well. Well done. <laughs> a couple of yo's and we're on our way to a fab weekend. We played Bat a Bomb. It's a girl's question. Stand by the buzzers, hands on the side, hit it first, get it right, you get 25 points. What's the name of the breed of bat which drinks the blood of other animals? Vampire. Vampire bat is good for 25 points! So, 80 for the yellows in the lead, 100 the reds! <laughs> all right, that moment has arrived where we'll all drive you absolutely wild. Three laps of the Fun Car Grand Prix coming right up! <laughs> So, they're all set to go, ready to drive you wild, as I say. The only trouble is, with a score at the moment of 80 and 100, that does not, whatever happened, reflect the miles an hour that you do on this, all right? Don't go that fast. Here's what happens. Three laps in the Fine Car Grand Prix. First lap, pick up the green ones. They are worth 10 points. Second lap, a little bit more exciting, pick up the white ones. They're worth 25. And on the last lap, grab them both, OK? Whatever you want, anything that's left over, just grab them and pick them up. Drop them you get nothing. Put them in the seat of your fun car, they count at the end, we add them all up. The winning team gets 25 points as well for passing the chequered flag first. Who's going first, girls or guys? Guys. Okay, guys first. That means you do two laps and the girls do the lap in the middle. Got your spare tyres? Yep. Yep, yep. So you'll change those after every lap. On your marks, get to your carts. Ready for the weekend, everyone? Yeah. The score stands. 80 yellows, 100 reds. On your marks, get to your carts, go! Yeah.
scores have been backwards and forwards all afternoon, but this time it's the Yellows back in the lead. 25 points! Yeah. All right, let's count them up. First of all, we'll do the yellow ones. Ooh. Of course, they are green and white, but we call them yellow ones because it's the ones the Yellows picked up. Here we go. Let's mark them up. 10, 20, 30. And now those whiteies, they're worth 25 a go. 25, 50, 75, 100. Total score yellows, 2, 3, 5. Yeah! All right, James and Sally, you stand by and see how you get on here because it's your turn. Excited? She's nervous. She's not sure what's happening here. 10, 20, 30. 40, and now those white ones as well. Jenny and Wesley stand by here. 25, 50, oh, he doesn't want to go. 75, 100, total score reds. 240, you're going into the final. You've won it by just five points. Oh. Wow. James and Sally, nobody goes away empty handed. We have the legendary Funhouse camera here. You'll get one of those each. You'll be able to click away at our cameraman and see. Just how good they look. You'll also get exactly, of course, what Martina is modelling, the old bum bag and the fantastic jacket. Thanks a lot for playing. Have a brilliant weekend. You lost by five points, but you were great. You enjoy yourselves? Yeah. yeah. See you later on. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. It is your turn. You're going into that fun house. I suppose you want to know what's in there, yeah? Yeah. Gary can tell us. You'll get good results with this math set if you don't mind the balloons. And here's a fabulous racket that will keep you out of the engine room. Picture the net made with the camera. Snap it before you go to the pot of gold, which will soon reveal some number one hit tokens. Keep in touch with all your pals with the latest walkie-talkie. Then work out the length of the python with this stylish funhouse calculator. Keep an eye on the time at the Aztec wall with this super pop star watch. Then let this ball game swing you right down the slide and grab it as you go. Score double tops in the snow drip with this set of darts and board. The cogwheel could put you to sleep if you pick up this sleeping bag. Then unscrabble the letters with the help of this dictionary and board. You'll need a Cape Crusader to answer the Batmobile phone, while ticking away at the end of the lava flow is the wacky world clock. Sign up for the mashup with the engraved fountain pen or ask the final question. At the end of the tubes, where does the mystery tour go? No, where does the mystery tour go? But however, I do know that hidden in the funhouse are 15 price tags that look like this. There's that mystery tour as an example. One of them contains the secret power prize. What is it, Gary? Enjoy some real-life outdoor adventures with this hurricane-tested tent and these fabulous accessories. Ooh, so the whole camping gear, eh? That is pretty good. We know what it is. We have to find out where it's hidden. That is just for the viewer at home. You do not see that, but it's up to you to find out. Now, when you're looking through the funhouse and you're going for these tags, there's a special noise that'll tell you you've got the power prize, like this. <laughs> there it is, our good old cockadoodle do. That'll be the one that'll inform you you've got it. Now, who's going to be going first? Me. Boys first, yeah? Think you should do that? All right, Mr. Preston, I wish you lots of luck. Now, what you have to do is, in your two minutes, grab as many price tags as you possibly can. You've got to get three. As soon as you've got three, whack out. High five, which we have a little practice for here. Yo! That's a good practice. Wait till you see the real thing. And it's your turn for three, and your turn, and your turn, and your turn. No one's ever got all 15, but a couple of times someone's got 12. So we wish you luck. You get your feet on the steps. You've got two minutes to get everybody's weekend on the way. Now, our fun house is very jungly today, so make sure you don't meet any scary creatures on the way in. It's jungle fight. Feet on the steps. This is where everybody's weekend gets going on the fun house. Two minutes. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs>
was what I call speedy, without a doubt. I don't know how many tags you've got there. You tired, Jen? <laughs> Come on back, my man, Presley! There's no time to sit in the snow, you know. We've got more important things to do. I'll tell you why we've got more important things to do. Because, apart from getting all these big tags, like, for instance, the sleeping bag, the Batmobile phone. Woo! What's the one hidden under here? Not the pop star watch. Brilliant, you'll be able to pop in and watch them star with it. The mystery tour, that's the one you wanted. The cassette tokens, that's brilliant. The walkie-talkie, brilliant. You can call each other after the game. And the calculator. I also heard the special noise. We got a power prize question. Bring it on, Martina! <laughs> OK. Now, all I can say is this is one heavy moment in Funhouse because the lights go dim about as dim as me, and I ask you a question in which you've got 10 seconds to think about it and confer. So you almost need your walkie-talkies now to go, what do you think? And then give us your answer. You ready for this one? Here it comes. Can you name, and you've got 10 seconds, please think about it, because that camping equipment could be yours. I know you're out of breath, but don't worry. Can you name three of the states which make up Australia? <sighs> states. Um, Give us your answer. Come on. Quick. I've only got one. Give us it then. New Zealand. No, you're wrong. You could have had New South Wales or Queensland or Tasmania, Victoria, South, South Australia, Western Australia or Northern Territory. Because New Zealand is, of course, a separate country. Nothing to do with Australia. The Kiwis wouldn't like that at all. Never mind. You got all that lot on the floor. It wasn't bad. You had a good time? Yeah. Next week, we'll make your house a fun house again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.